welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Ole Hendrickson Glow Dark Toner. If you do want to see a review and a demo, please keep watching. This toner has been hyped up all over Instagram, so I wanted to see what the hype was really about. I am going to be testing this toner for an entire week, and then I will come back with the results at the end of the week to see if this toner is really worth the hype, in my opinion. So this is what the packaging does look like. It comes in this blue packaging. So let's open her up. So here's what the actual bottle looks like. You do get 6.5 fluid ounces. And this toner also comes with some directions as well. So it does say, at night, pour onto a cotton pad and swipe over clean, dry face in a circular motion. Follow with Ole Hendrickson Serum or Moisturizer of your choice. I don't have a serum or moisturizer from them because I had a bad experience with their cleanser and it did nothing for me. So we're going to try Ole Hegringson again. I really have high hopes for this product. I did see the before and afters online, but I wasn't convinced. My face is already clean, as you guys can see. I just hopped out of the shower. Before I apply any of this product on my face, I am going to be doing a close-up of what my face is currently looking like. So, of course, throughout the week, I am going to be doing a couple of check-ins with you guys to see if this product really does diminish my dark spots. Does it really brighten my skin? I have no clue, so we're going to test this out. I do have this dark spot here on my nose. And then I have a couple of dark spots here. Before we pour some onto the cotton round, I do want to smell the product. So it does come with this seal here. That way you make sure it's not tampered with. So let's open her up. Let's give this a sniff. Oh my gosh, it smells like lemonade. I'm actually allergic to lemonade, you guys. Is that bad? It literally smells like a glass of lemonade. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I don't want to break out from this, but I really want to like it and I really want it to work. So we're going to go in anyways. I'm just going to pour some on the cotton round. I have no clue how much I'm supposed to be pouring on this cotton round, but you can't even see it because the product is clear. So we're going to go in to this dark spot here. I'm just going to place it on that dark spot for about a minute and about a good couple of seconds. And it does say in a circular motion. So let's do this in a circular motion. I'm not even sure if I'm doing this right, you guys. We might as well tone our entire face. I'm getting a little bit of tingly sensation. So I'm not sure if that's good or bad. But I am going to be applying some toner on this side of my face. I'm going to be grabbing a clean cotton round. Here's the other one that we use on this side of my face. I'm just going to pour some more. Is that I'm not sure how much I should be using because it doesn't say. We'll be taking that much. I know, you guys, it's, it's clear. There's two dark spots here. So I'm just going to hold the cotton round there. A lot of the reviews I read on Sephora.com were positive reviews. I mean, everybody has different skin types. Another spot here. I'm just going to hold down the toner to that dark spot. I'm done just holding that there and now we're gonna do circular motions on the rest of this side of my face. I am thinking about applying this product using only my fingers next time instead of a cotton round. So I do feel like a cotton pad or a cotton round would soak up the majority of the product and I'm just spreading cotton all over my face. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's just apply some down to the neck. I feel like I do have a little bit more product. So this is what my face is currently looking like with the toner. I won't be applying anything else on my face while this toner is sinking into my skin. So I definitely want to see how this product does work throughout the night. I will check back in with you guys in the morning to see if you notice any subtle differences or any difference in general. The majority of the reviews that I was reading online on Sephora.com were all good reviews. They were all positive reviews but they were all reviews from Influencer or Ole Hendrickson and the product just released. So I'm not sure how long they've been using the product for. I'm not saying that these people are lying about the product working for them. I don't know, it seems a little bit sketchy that everybody is hyping up this product. I mean, it can be a great toner, but this product just released and a lot of people are raving about it. People are saying that this product did give them a nice glow. I am reading a review here. Um, it's actually a one-star review. It said it dried out her skin. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm scared now. And she said it left red splotches all over her skin. Said it might be better for someone without sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin. Like I did mention to you guys, the majority of the people that did test out this product 
were sent this product by either Influencer or Ole Hendrickson. I'm not sure if they want more product from Ole Hendrickson or they want to stay on the influencer list or whatever it may be but everybody does have different skin types I'm just gonna tell you guys what my skin type is I have very oily skin and I have very sensitive skin I'm not sure how this product is gonna react to my skin and I'm not sure if you guys have very oily and very sensitive skin like I do but I am gonna be giving this product a benefit of the doubt so we will see how this toner does perform if my dark spots did really reduce or not and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so it is day three of me testing out the Ole Hegerson Dark Spot Toner. I just wanted to check in with you guys because I have not seen a difference in my dark spots yet. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So you guys are zoomed all the way in and you guys can notice that this dark spot here still looks the same. It hasn't faded as yet in my opinion. And then these two dark spots here on my left hand side, um, I can still see it. It hasn't gone down, it hasn't been erased or anything. So I haven't really seen a drastic difference while using this toner. What I have noticed when I was using this toner is that I think I'm using a lot of the toner because I'm already on day three and I've used this much of the toner. Do you guys see how much toner I've used so far in three days? I'm not sure if I'm using too much product or maybe I should tone it down a bit. <laughs> Or maybe I shouldn't use that much product. I will continue to use this dark spot toner throughout the entire week like I did state earlier. I do have a little bit of glow on my face. I am still breaking out because of this toner. I have not changed anything in my skincare routine. Only this dark spot toner is the only thing that I added into my skincare routine. And what I am noticing is that I am breaking out here. I was breaking out here yesterday. I did not feel the need to film it because I didn't really notice a drastic difference. So I just decided that I would check in with you guys on day three, which I'm doing now. For some reason, you guys, I still have high hopes for this product. I just want it to work. I want my dark Dark spots to be gone. Let's see how this product does perform throughout the entire week. I will be doing another check-in on day five and then of course on day seven will be my final check-in. I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so it is day five of me testing out the Ole Hengertzing Dark Spot Toner. Here's what my face is currently looking like. not notice a dramatic difference using this toner in particular you can still see my dark spot here where my nose is and you can also see my dark spots here and I also have a dark spot here also I'm still breaking out from this toner since the past couple of days I have been breaking out using this dark spot toner I have been reaching for my origin super spot remover this spot treatment acne does remove all of my pimples I just use this during the day and it does get rid of that pimple throughout my day so far you guys I have not seen an improvement using this toner I do want to show you guys how much toner I have been using and it's currently day five so I'm currently this much of toner. I think I've been using quite a lot of toner. Every night I do saturate my cotton round. I saturate it with a ton of this toner. I leave it on just for a couple of seconds, like especially right here on my dark spot, and I really haven't noticed a difference. I don't see the dark spots really go away. My face does look brighter using this toner. I was not going for brighter glowy skin. I was really hoping for this product to get rid of my dark spots, but we are definitely gonna see how this product does perform on day seven. But for some reason, you guys, I do still have high hopes for this product. I'm hoping for a miracle. This product has yet to get rid of my dark spots, so. We'll check back in with you guys on day seven and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, so it is day seven of me testing the Ole Hendrickson Dark Spot Toner. This is what my face is currently looking like. The only difference that I did notice while using this Ole Hendrickson Dark Spot Glow Toner is that my face does look a little bit brighter throughout the entire week, but my dark spots are still there. As you guys can see, I still have these two dark spots here from earlier this week. And then not only that, but my nose the dark spot on my nose as well, it really did not get rid of that either. I really wanted this glow dark spot toner to work out for me, but unfortunately it did not work out for me. I guess my skin type just didn't take it, or maybe it was a product itself. I did go on Ole Hendrickson's Instagram, and I did see some two interesting comments. Um, I'm gonna post them right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I saw these two Instagram comments and I knew that I wasn't alone. It's not only me that hasn't seen any results so far. I mean, I've only been using it for a week. I don't think using it throughout the entire month I would notice any kind of difference either. On average, if I do introduce a new skincare product to my skincare routine, I normally would see a difference, but for some reason I did not notice any difference while using this product. This product also did break me out, I did notice. 
right here on my nose as you guys can see the lemonade fragrance in this product is totally unnecessary to me I really did have high hopes for this product but unfortunately I did not see any results while using this product so I would not recommend this product to you guys save your $28 I did also notice online that Drunk Elephant did release a new retinol product so I am going to be testing that out to see if it does make any difference to my skin I really want these dark spots to be gone and I thought this $28 product would get rid of it but it didn't so I guess to each their own everybody does have different skin types please let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried this product and if it's worked for you if you guys did enjoy this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please do subscribe I will see you guys in my next video